<laughs> Ever wonder if the ads you see on TV and the web are too good to be true? Well, Consumer Reports decided to test the claims several companies make for their products. And one of their editors, Bob Markovich, is here with the results for us this morning. Bob, good morning. Good to see good morning. you. Good morning. Good, Chris. So much to talk about, and we're going to, uh, you know, go over these products here mm -hmm. and, and show some of the commercials. Let's start, though, with the product that is used to combat pet hair. Let's take a look at this real quick. Pledge Fabric Sweeper for Pet Hair. As you go in one direction, the first roller picks up pet hair. As you go in the other direction, the second roller cleans off the first and pushes the pet hair inside. New Pledge Fabric Sweeper for Pet Hair. Find it by the other Pledge products. All right, well, that's what it says it does, but you put it to the test. What does it really do, and how well does it work? We did test it, and this is one product that actually does what it says it does. And basically, we used a rather large mixed-breed dog yeah. with two tabby cats, hardly exotic pets, yeah. and it worked. <clears throat> And basically, it's just the two-roller effect. That was what made it as successful as it was, huh? It's two rollers, and we tested it against some products by Scotch. You know, the usual sticky sheets? Yeah. Uh, you've used Scotch tape, perhaps, sure. on a suit. And they actually work, but only for a little while, because very quickly, they mat with fur. And what's great about this is you can go and go for quite a time, and it picks up lots of fur. And the beauty of it is that even when it fills up, even though they say it's disposable, you can actually remove one of the rollers, pop it out, clean it, and pop it back in. So theoretically, you could keep on using this. So we are giving it a thumbs up. A thumbs up for we sure. Like right. Absolutely, Chris. The next product you reviewed is the forearm forklift. Mm -hmm. uh, simple device that says it will uh, help you move heavy objects. Let's take a quick look at the ad here. Good. Look at how well these lifting straps work for carrying furniture, appliances, and mattresses. These adjustable straps carry items inches off the floor to avoid lifting high. These straps lift right over door sills. And not only do they encourage proper lifting techniques, but they also employ leverage, making the pieces you carry feel lighter. Well, it looks easy, was it? It actually was. This is another infomercial product that works. Uh, we actually used two men and, uh, and two women, and they were able to use a heavy, to lift a heavy range, and even a 300-pound refrigerator. I did this myself the other day with another guy, and neither of us is very, very big, and we lifted this, moved it, something we really couldn't have done without it. So when you saw it, did you say to yourself, this uh, doesn't look like it would help, but when you put it to the test, it actually did work pretty it well? It actually did. Very impressive, because it moves most of your weight away from the tips of your fingers and the ends of your wrists, closer to your body. So that's yeah. moving it down to your legs, which are really the strongest muscles. It's all about leverage when you're moving mm -hmm. big items Absolutely. like that. All right, the next item created a lot of buzz when it first came out. I think everybody remembers oh. these bags. <laughs> the noise. Oh, it's driving people crazy. Uh, let's take a look at the commercial for that sun chip bag right there. Who ever said that's so impossible? Well, that's not supposed to go there. Doesn't know me well. Well, the big claim with the compostable bag was that it was biodegradable mm -hmm. and uh, it would only take about 13 weeks in a compost pile. So you put it to the test, and what results did you find? We put it to a three-month test, and we basically used a home compost pile, the kind that most homeowners, homeowners would have. Mm -hmm. We watered it, we used wood chips, grass. In fact, I think we tended it probably better than most homeowners do, and after three months, we saw barely any difference. Really? Barely any difference. I want to read a quote here that we do yes. have uh, from Frito-Lay, the maker of the Sun Chips mm -hmm. bag. And they said, we partnered with, with Woods End, an independent laboratory, to evaluate the performance and the compostability of this packaging. The compostable packaging was tested under various environmental conditions. Additionally, we received third-party certification from the Biodegradable Products Institute, which is the highest and most rigorous certification process currently available for compostable <coughs> claims. So that was their claim, but you say you disagree. On the package, they say either a home or a commercial compost pile. Yeah. So, you know, perhaps it does work or decompose quickly in a commercial pile, but who has a commercial compost pile in his backyard? Yeah. So, I mean, certainly after three months, it really did very little. Maybe after a year, it would do more, but uh, in, a, in your average home compost pile, I don't think so. No go. All right, finally, let's check out the uh, the advertisement for the, uh, the Hamilton Beach voice-activated voice coffee maker. I want to mm -hmm. quickly read on their website. They say, this unique coffee maker makes life simple. Just press once and talk to set the brew time. So I ask, what could be easier? Well, let's take a look right here. Would you like to set the time of day or set the auto start time? Auto start. Would you like to set the time of day or set the auto start time? Auto start. Auto start. Would you like to set the time of day or set the auto start time? Auto start time. 
tell me the time the brew cycle should auto start, including AM or PM. 11.49. So is that the English version or the French-speaking version? <laughs> so no, it sounds pretty easy, but apparently not so easy. This is a case where the concept is a lot more brilliant than the execution. I mean, Chris, the concept is good because most coffee makers are kind of hard to program, like yeah. the thermostat. Think of that, that. So here's a case where you push the button and it should, you know, if it's working, this is a grand idea. But as we discovered, it really depends on, uh, on who you are. Yeah. Quickly, I want to just read a statement here from uh, the, the Hamilton Beach folks in responding to the your, to your testing. The voice activation and recognition technology used in this coffee maker is advanced. As with any technology, it may require one or two attempts to master. This coffee maker still receives a very good overall rating from consumer mm. reports. Let me speak to that. I mean, sure. Hamilton Beach makes some excellent products. They have another coffee maker that is uh, actually highly rated. But this one really was only mediocre in brew performance. I mean, that's the ability to reach 195 degrees for at least six minutes and squeeze all that flavor out of the beans. So really, when it came to a great cup of coffee, you're not. You're talking pretty mediocre. Yep. And as far as this one, it really depends on who on, uh, on who you are. It recognized my voice. Uh, it's a nice female voice. Maybe it liked me. I'm not sure. <laughs> but uh, the two women who enunciated very clearly and loudly. No go. No go. All right, Paul Markovich. Thank you very much. Good to see you this morning. Thank you.